Hi, Stan Slap here with the second excerpt from the free Tough Times, Tougher Teams white paper. This is the exact tactical plan for your company to deal the best way with these extraordinary circumstances. Unique solutions that have achieved proven impact. You can download the complete white paper at slapcompany.com. In this second excerpt, I don't want to talk to you about how to achieve success during these tough times. I want to talk to you about why it is so important to do it the right way for the right reasons. Now, the only accurate prediction that anyone can make at this crisis point is that anyone making a prediction stands a good chance of one day being seen as a complete moron. Still, there are two things we do know for certain. The first is that these tough times won't last forever. The second is that the story of how you stood up to them will. You're going to be living with that story for a long time. It's time to start writing it so it ends the way you want it to. How does a human being justify the gift of life? You take care of those who depend on you. You give back for your success. You practice kindness and respect. You strive to make the world both a better place and not a worse one. Why should it be any different in justifying the life of an enterprise? To be trusted to care about what matters most. Let this be the defining grace of your company. What matters most now is your humanity, your empathy, compassion, and unbiased unity, and how that drives decisions affecting those both inside and outside of your company. And amidst the unheard of circumstances that grip us all, extend this now to those whom you don't do business with as well. It is time to swap customer centricity for human centricity. Successfully dealing with a seismic shift to your business often requires systemic changes, but always requires unyielding adherence to your deepest purpose and principles. Now, some of this has to be calculated to be operationalized, but the catalyst should be to just do the right thing for all of the right reasons. During this fierce storm, this is what you have, and this is what will save you. Your company can lose many things during these tough times, including its mind for a while, and still recover through the will of your own people and others. But you cannot lose your soul. This crisis is an amplifier. Good people will show more good in these tough times. More empathy, more generosity, more accountability. Bad people will show more bad in these tough times. More narcissism, more irresponsibility, more greed. Good companies will show more good in these tough times, more protection to their employees to the utmost of their abilities, more service to their customers in novel ways, more use of their facilities for common and community benefit. Bad companies will show more bad in these tough times, more uncaring for the literal and emotional safety of their employee culture, more disregard for being relevant to their customers unless they're trying to sell them something more refusal to use their resources to give and to give back. And so the only question that matters is whether there are more good people than bad people. The answer to that question was decided long before this current crisis descended upon us. I believe with all of my heart that there are a lot more good people and that they populate organizations that are extraordinarily capable of doing good things in these tough times. Otherwise, nothing will ever make sense in our world, even when this trouble passes. What you do now will be remembered. Who you are now will be remembered longer. This means more than ever to your company, to your culture, to your community, to your children, and to your conscience. You'll be answering to all of these until the end of your days. What did you do when everything inside of you and around you, was tested. Greatness awaits you. Be human first and a manager second.